Are you all right? We heard you had an arrow go through your chest. Uh, not the chest, just the shoulder. It was nothing. The wound closed up in a week, didn't even pus. Had you prayed that morning? Yeah, of course. I always pray before a battle. I'm just wondering why St. Catherine would let you get hit. She's supposed to be looking after you. Oh, she is, Ma, she is. She let one through to test me. And it was good for my reputation. Y your men respect you more when you take a hit. Well, let's hope St. Catherine don't put you through any more of these tests. Yeah, well... You like your room? Oh, yes, it's very grand. I can't believe they're putting us up like this. Well, you're my mom and dad. <laughs> Did you know they came to our house in a carriage with an escort and all? I spent the whole two weeks without once touching the ground. Your father walked some of the way. He got restless. My arse got sore just sitting there. I couldn't take it. Me, I couldn't have been happier just leaning back, watching the world go by. It was lovely. I'm so glad, Ma. I told Charles I didn't want you having to foot it, so he offered it up. You call the king by his first name? It's cheeky, but she gets away with it. Not cheeky, we're friends. Did you tell them about the coat of arms? Not yet. Charles is having a coat of arms made for us. Well, that's fancy. Don't know if we need one. Why not, Ma? It's a nice thing to have. You can hang it in the house. I also asked Charles to waive your taxes. I can pay my own taxes. Don't need you asking favors for me. It's not a favor. I'm making him a king. He owes me. You don't owe me. I'm just trying to make things easier for you, Da. Don't need your help. Don't need my daughter managing my business. Why is he being this way? We'll talk about this later. What the hell, Da? 